Mommy's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mommy's little baby loves shortening. The federal election is creeping closer and closer, so the stakes are getting higher and higher for politicians. It's not all just shaking hands and kissing babies, as Bill Shorten saw this past week. It's getting your truck stuck in potholes. It's uh, having public trying to get on the bus, which I thought was hilarious. Mm. It's unexpected hashes oh, yeah. in the Adelaide yeah, CBD. Forget about kissing babies, Bill. What about middle-aged women? Good on you, Margot. <laughs> now, come on, give us a kiss and a cuddle. Oh, good on you. Oh. 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 Good on you, Margot. Good on you. Good on you. Bill Shorten, hello. In case uh, people didn't see the famous photo that we had much fun with that in the paper yesterday, she pulled you into her mobility scooter and really went <laughs> went the lip lock, didn't she? My first reaction, other than surprise, was um, I thought, oh, Colling a Football Club could use her as a tackle somewhere on the team. <laughs> She was deceptively strong. Well, I like how she, she berated you. So she's lured you in with beration and then you've cleared up your differences and then, bang, she's got straight in there. Yeah, it was a well-organised um, pash. Yeah. It was a good pash. I like what your wife said. She said, well, I'm just pleased that other women are enjoying Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you okay. should campaign around Jennifer Hawkins' house. <laughs> Yeah, that's are not you... the life of the opposition leader. <laughs> well, how are you finding the whole process? Is it a lot of small sandwiches and sausage rolls and meeting people who don't always want to tell you nice things? It must be strange. I love it. I was built for this. Really? I, I like people. Very rarely ever had a conversation with someone where you didn't gain some insight. Uh, a lot of people just want you to have a listen to them. We're a, we're a very interesting country, so the, there's always an insight from someone if you take the time. People generally have got a point to make, so... Um, this is a great opportunity to just get out and talk to people. I do that all the time, but in an election, people actually decide they want to talk to you. When you're the opposition leader for about two and a half years of the time, people struggle to remember your name and did you teach their kids science or, you know, do you... Mm. But uh, as you get close to the election, people are thinking about politics more and they've got a point of view and uh, I, I love it. Do you ever have someone that comes up to you and they say, oh, well, how are you going to fix this? Say, I, I want you to fix my kid's school. How are you going to fix this? And do you have an answer for them or do you have to go into political speak? <laughs> what are you asking? Do I actually answer their question or yeah. just make it up? Yeah. I, um, when it comes to things like Medicare or schools or Australian jobs or climate change, we've got great answers. What I also find, though, is you meet individuals with backstories. In fact, every person's got a backstory. I was speaking uh, yesterday in Campbelltown, of all people, to the father of that Adam Whittington. He's the uh, guy who was uh, involved in the uh, child return or, mm. or the events in Lebanon, and he's, he's still, still in, prison, in a Lebanese then. jail. So I was speaking to his dad. I just ran into him in a coffee shop in Campbelltown. We're going to ask the government what they're doing on this matter. So that was a good conversation, very specific. Would you like to play a game with us today? We have. So we want to know how well you know your politics. We mm. have a couple of uh, <laughs> political uh, moments here, and we'd like you to guess who said what. You've got your serious face. I yeah. do, uh, and it's a very serious stuff, she's Mr She's going Shorten. for a job at the ABC. That's why she's uh, sucking up. Uh, no, that's so not true. If you true. become the big boss, uh, you'll be saying, oh, I'll get Amanda That Keller. is not true. The only reason they'll be hiring at the ABC in the future is if Labor wins. The Liberals keep cutting the ABC. I know, yeah. that is true. That is true, they do. That yeah. is true. Oh, listen, they're both great. Axes uh, and, what am I going to do? <laughs> Sitting oh, playing you can ask Jonesy the first question. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mr Shorten, game show host. Oh, I'm the game show host. Yes. See how you go with this. Who said this? Why I'll a wipe out there on my TV. No, why I'll a wipe out there on my TV. No, why I'll a wipe out there Buzz. on my TV. Press the buzzer. Press your buzzer. Out of my yeah, brain. Okay, who's that, Bill? Craig Emerson, mm. former Labor Minister. I think it was uh, the Liberals exaggerated the impact of... Uh, trying to have a plan for carbon and climate change and they said that Wyala would be wiped out and Craig Emerson, the Labor Minister, parodied it. Yeah. Mm. Parodied, well, destroyed. I was going to use the word sung, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, a singing, <laughs> I think the dictionary that. definition of singing doesn't qualify there. When you look up weird on YouTube, you get that. Oh, really? Okay, it's always, it just looks weird. Oh, I thought you said weed. No, <laughs> weird. Uh. Weird. It probably sounded good when he was discussing it with his, uh, with his office there. How about this one? Here's question number two. Who's this? Fellow Australians, if you are seeing me now, it means I have been murdered. <laughs> that was yeah. one of the highlights of the year. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. That would qualify. That was Pauline Hanson. Mm. Oh, you're doing well so far. I'm trying to remember, why did she think she'd have to be, that we were going to murder her? What, what happened? I think it's because uh, she didn't win Dancing with the Stars. That might have been it. That could All be right. traumatic. Question number three, who's this? We can't go on together. <laughs> this was Bruce Willis, 
Who's that? Any well, idea? it's not Elvis. That's no, it's not it was Elvis. on this very program. Yes. No, no. I, I Would you like to hear it one more show. time? Here we go. Yeah, let's do we can't go on together. <laughs> oh, yes. I just recognise that voice. Mm. Tony Abbott. It was there Tony it Abbott. Wow. We asked him what his karaoke song was, and he went there, which was he interesting. He went straight to Elvis. Yeah, I, I saw he did karaoke in the bush on his bike ride, and uh, he's been working out at the gym. He had it looks his good. arms, yeah, very yeah. muscled. Well, there you go. Well, just you saying. do get a room. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just saying. saying. Just saying. <laughs> Look, I don't think it, it's I not, always admired Tony's yeah. fitness, just not his policies. <laughs> <laughs> Those policies in Lycra. Uh, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with watching an oil up. Tony Abbott riding his push bike. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag just saying. You heard Hashtag it here first. Well, I think you're the word like weird just sprung into my head unprompted. <laughs> Do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> uh, well, Bill, good luck on the hustings. Keep away from the carbs. Pick the meat out of the sandwich. And watch out for Margot. Watch out for Margot. <laughs> now, come on, give us the kiss and cuddle for the camera. Oh. Uh, for the listeners, I've got an uncontrollable eye tick now hearing that repeated. <laughs> good old Margot. Bill Shotton, thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. guys. See you soon.